Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Philippians, Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 to 11, and I will read it. It says, Therefore God has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven, those on earth, and those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Oh, how I wish I could do justice to this passage of Scripture. I mean, because it speaks to the exaltation of the Lord Jesus Christ, that he should he is highly exalted. He is worthy to receive all the glory and the honor and the praise for he who descended from on high, who departed glory and came here on earth, subjected himself to the ridicule and the meanness of mankind, taking on the form and the image of a bondservant, coming in the likeness of man. He humbled himself and was obedient to the point of death, that is death on the cross. He took your sin and my sin upon himself, that he who knew no sin, he became sin for you and I, that we might become the righteousness of God through him. And that because of what he has done, we now have direct access to God through him. Our sins have been forgiven and we accept it into the family of God. And so why is it therefore, therefore? Well, the therefore is therefore because of what came before it. And what came before it is the Apostle Paul here is calling for the saints of God that they should walk in humble submission, that they should walk and in humble submission, as the Lord Jesus Christ did himself, he walked in humble obedience and submission to God the Father. He's our example. And notice the Apostle Paul that we're not, now we ought not think more highly of ourselves, but we should consider others even uh, higher than ourselves. And we should use Jesus as our example. He goes back to verse five and he says this, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, our Lord, who being in the form of God, that is who being God, who being in the form of God did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. He thought it fair. That's hard for me to understand. He thought it fair. And therefore he made himself of no reputation taken on the form of, of a bond servant coming in the image and the likeness of man being found as a man that he humbled himself and became obedient even to the point of death, death on the cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name. Listen, no name should be named like the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, is not honored today. The name of Jesus is cursed and ridiculed. I mean, you speak Jesus today, people are ready to fight. But there are some of us that love that name. There are some of us that love to speak the name of Jesus. And there's coming a day <laughs> that it won't matter who you are. It won't matter what creature you are and what dimension you may exist, that every creature in every existence of being shall bow the knee in subjection to Almighty God, to the Lord Jesus Christ. One day it's going to happen that when he comes again, he went, now listen, he's not coming back as Mary's baby or the carpenter's son. He is coming back as Lord of Lord and King of Kings. And when that happens, every knee shall bow of those in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Yes, the Father has given him a name that is above every name, that he would be exalted even higher than he was before, that all authority shall be given unto him. <laughs> to God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this passage of Scripture, that it would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you would just have a wonderful day, a great day. And just think about the wonderful gift that we have in Christ Jesus, our Lord, who did not consider it robbery to take our place, who thought it fair to take our sin, to pay our sin for a crime he didn't even commit at a cost that none of us could ever afford to pay. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. Mm. 
I pray that you would have a great day, a safe day, and then tune in again tomorrow, yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.